Welcome back to Trucking California with Velox 18. I am Nick, the owner and operator of Velox 18 Trucking, where every single video is a vlog of one of my loads running around California, the Golden State. I'm headed down to San Diego today, but we're already loaded. We're loaded up. So we're starting this video in the middle of the load because we already got preloaded, preloaded. We did that back on Friday. But we got, I, I gotta tell you guys the whole backstory on this. I gotta, just in case you guys didn't watch the video from Saturday, I gotta tell you guys the backstory. But before we do that, we're gonna hit the road, start heading down to San Diego. And before we do that, you know we gotta roll the music. So we are headed down southbound and down. And uh, so how, how did we get here? So I got a load of walnuts. I thought they were almonds when I went and picked them up, but uh, it, was, uh, it was an interesting load from the beginning. So uh, the previous load, they left a pallet of baking soda on the trailer and I had a decision to make. I could either cancel this load and say that you know I've got I've got uh, you know a, a pallet left I got to take care of um, on a Friday afternoon, and uh, basically I wasn't going to be able to pick up this load, or I needed to figure out a way to just make it happen. So I ended up having the guys over at Alpine Pacific Nut pull out the pallet of baking soda and load up this load of walnuts and uh, had them set the pallet next to the truck and I put all the baking soda into the sleeper of my truck. And uh, so once we did that, I then uh, took this, the baking soda out of my truck and delivered it on Saturday to Old Dominion. Had to repalletize it, which was fun. I had my son help me um, cut my work down by like, you know, into, into a, like a third of what it would have been. So thank you, Miles. I appreciate you. Uh, he's earning his keep. You know, I pay for his car, his insurance, and his gas. So he already has like a salary, basically, when you count all those expenses up. So uh, yeah, when I ask him for help, he says yes, yes, sir. Uh, most of the time, <laughs> he is 17. But uh, anyway, uh, all that to say. Uh, that this load was a little bit of a hassle from the beginning um, and and you know of no fault of the shipper or of the broker on this load but uh, all stemming from the previous load and uh, the fact that the previous shipper didn't have the uh, shipping papers for one of the pallets on the truck and so the receiver wouldn't receive it which it's pretty much normal practice in grocery stores. You gotta have the right PO number, match the right product, and all that good stuff. But it does uh, put me in an awkward situation when it comes to picking up this load on a Friday when the shipper isn't open on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, and it's a 5 a.m. Monday morning delivery, which is why we're heading down on Sunday to uh, make this delivery because uh, it's gotta be their first thing Monday morning. So. Uh, anyway, so that's what we did. We ended up, you know, making making a, uh, a bad situation, turning it into a, a, an okay situation. We, we got loaded with the load. Uh, it's a little heavier than what they advertised, which, um, you know, kind of getting used to. They said 38,000, it ends up, it's about 43,000. Uh, so we're maxed out on weight, pretty much. Uh, we'll be at like 79,000 once I top off on fuel, 79.3. So, um, you know, it's pretty, pretty heavy. I uh, had to slide a uh, fifth wheel around a little bit to try and get um, some weight um, off of the, the drives. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's just kind of the, the, the hassle we're dealing with, with this load. Uh, now that the previous load is done. Uh, but anyway, we're just gonna head on down here and um, uh, nothing, Nothing really much to say about uh, a Sunday afternoon start date. It sucks. You know, starting on Sunday afternoon, uh, you know, feels like, uh, you know, I don't know. Feels like if you had to go to school on Sunday afternoon, it just doesn't, 
as a kid, it just doesn't feel right. The, the week starts on Monday morning, but uh, nevertheless, it's kind of cool for the great freight race because um, I'll have a load, you know, in the books, 5 a.m. Monday morning. Uh, and everyone else will be looking to pick up their next load, probably. Uh, so that's kind of uh, going to give me a little bit of a head start, which I need. Uh, running mostly in California, I, I need all the help I can get. The, the freight market isn't uh, quite as hot as it is down in the south and the midwest. So, um, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be scraping together as much as we can this week. And then uh, next weekend, I've got a family reunion, so that's what we're going to be doing with that. But uh, anyway, let's get on down the road and uh, we'll, make, uh, we'll make one pit stop and get some fuel. And otherwise, we'll just be chucking on down San Diego today. And I uh, think, think we'll make it there in about seven and a half hours, give or take. Uh, Sunday afternoons is always a crapshoot with traffic. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll stretch it into an eight hour drive, but um, I'm thinking seven and a half uh, will be will be plenty of uh, plenty of time for us to make it down there. So that should get us down there uh, right around nine o'clock and uh, maybe 10 between nine and 10 and uh, we should be able to get get a good uh, seven hours, eight hours of sleep. Um, the reviews say that I can sleep outside the receiver down there. So hopefully I'll be able to sleep right outside the receiver and then make my delivery. So that's the plan as of now, we'll see what happens. Uh, but hopefully we can get a full 10 hour, 10 hours off down there at the receiver and uh, be able to start tomorrow fresh in the morning looking for a load coming up out of San Diego coming back up to NorCal or, or going anywhere else really uh, I can go out of state I just uh, this lane tends to pay a little bit better uh, you know I can I can get a load going to uh, Phoenix that pays about the same as a load going up to Northern California but there's a lot more loads in Northern California than there are in Phoenix so that's kind of uh, what I'm thinking but let's uh, let's keep on trucking down the road get down to San Diego <laughs> So we just put uh, 180 gallons in between the uh, the truck and the reefer. Um, another eight gallons of def. So uh, we unloaded that 1,600 pounds out of the sleeper, but we put 1,300 or plus, you know, 1,300 plus pounds, uh, maybe even like closer to 1,500. I don't know the exact weight. I just kind of figure. I know a gallon of water is about seven pounds, um, and I believe fuel's pretty close to that. I don't know about def, um, but I only did like eight and a half gallons of death so uh, anyway I'm thinking that uh, that we probably put about 13 to 1400 pounds back into it so we're right back at our 78 plus pound uh, 78,000 pound plus uh, weight and you can feel it in the trailer it's pretty heavy it's pretty heavy I feel the suspension rocking and rolling a little bit so uh, anyway I'm gonna go in here and get some snacks get some drinks and uh, then we'll keep on trucking down the road does that sound good all right but uh, yeah, we're not going to be over 79,000 pounds like I thought because uh, I forgot I took, I took 1,600 pounds out of the sleeper. So of course we're not going to be uh, close to where we scaled out over there, even with all the fluids put in. So all the fuels. Anyway, let's get in here and get some drinks. All right. Got our snacks. Got a little something to eat. And I uh, figure I'll probably just have to stop once or twice to uh, use the facilities. But other than that, I should be good to go. That way so is dirty, man. My my mobile wash guy hasn't been able to uh, to make it out for a while, so I think I'm gonna have to start just waiting in line like everybody else, like everybody else. All right, let's hit the road.
right, we made it down here to San Diego. We are like, like really close to the border, right at the border crossing. I mean, we are, we are very, very close to the border. We're at a Costco facility uh, and our appointment's at 5 a.m. So we're gonna tuck in the bed, get a nice uh, night's sleep. It's like 68 degrees right now. So man, perfect, perfect, perfect weather. Just like I was hoping for. It was hot back in the valley. It was really hot. Um, you know, it was like a 105 day, something like that. So it was a hot one. And uh, now we get a nice cool evening to sleep in El Hueso without an APU. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, you know, one of these days I'll get a, I'll get an inflatable uh, mattress. I'll just throw it in the, in the reefer. And uh, when, on a one of these really hot nights, just set that thing to like 65 and just, oof, it'll be perfect. But uh, anyway, um, all right. I gotta tuck into bed because uh, 5 a.m. is gonna come quicker than it than it should, quicker than it seems. Seems like oh I got I got eight hours you know before then, and then by the time I get in there and lay down and get to sleep and check my messages and I, all that bull crap, it ends up being like you know five hours sleep and I'm tired tomorrow. So I gotta try to get the sleep that I can, and uh, that means you guys are gonna have to wait till the morning to hear what the numbers are on this load, on this coyote load down here to San Diego. And uh, we'll also have to look for a load for tomorrow because I don't got anything pre-booked this week. Everything is just going to be spot market, true spot market freight. Looking for the best rate that I can uh, to try and maximize my, my revenue because um, I got whooped this, that, that first week of the great freight race, man. I got whooped. So uh, yeah, we got we to gotta try and do something. We got to pull a rabbit out of our hat for this week. But uh, anyway, good night. Farewell. I'll see you in the morning. Uh, yeah, we'll get to the numbers in the morning. Dang it, I knew this was gonna happen. I need to make my bed before I can go to sleep. There's all my clean linens there. Oh man, right when you think, oh good, I'm gonna lay down. Nope, Jessica usually climbs back here and does it for me, because uh, it's kind of tight for a 6'1", 240 pound man to climb around back here in this little sleeper, but you know, she uh, she couldn't do it this time, so. I am gonna be uh, <laughs> rocking and rolling this sleeper. People are gonna think weird things are going on in here, but it's just me trying to put my sheets on. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I leave this curtain open. Everyone can see that I'm I'm just wrestling a mattress. All right, uh, all right. Let's uh, let's do this now. I'll really see you guys in the morning. All right, for real this time. This is the last time I'm gonna update you. All right. So we're uh, waiting in line here. There's actually only one other truck here, but there's only one one driver allowed in at a time. So, uh, hey, this is what happens when you have a 5 a.m. appointment. You ready? Oh, I'm in my chanclas. You guys don't even know. I'm, I'm kind of against this, but hey, it's a 5 a.m. appointment. Now I just rolled out of bed and right over here into the line. So this is what we do. This is what we do. I'm going to try and get a little bit more sleep after I back this thing into a dock. But it's Costco, so they're probably gonna be quick, so I may not get very much sleep, but I gotta at least try to get a little bit more. But yeah, I'm one of these guys right now. I'm one of these guys. Let's get checked in. All right, so we got checked in. Uh, they told us, wait out by our truck so that they can verify the seal. So uh, it's, uh, it's kind of an interesting process here. Um, they open at five and they've got one truck docked so far. I'm truck number two, I still haven't been docked, so it's uh, been 20 minutes, <laughs> it's 5.20, and uh, they got one truck in the door, so. Process isn't as smooth as I've seen it at other Costco's. Normally it's uh, super smooth. Normally I would expect to get out of here by 6 a.m. Uh, you know, on a, on a normal uh, Costco delivery. So this, this facility isn't the normal Costco facility, this is a different one. Uh, it's some sort of a packaging plan or something like that, so it's a little different. Now let's see how long this takes. All right, hey, the sun's starting to come up. You can see the, the sky is starting to get a little bit lighter. Um, man, they got us unloaded quick. So I was all, you know, kind of, not, I wasn't saying anything bad, but I was, you know, it was just kind of taking longer than what I expected, what I anticipated. And uh, just to get checked in, I mean, get to a door. But they got me in a door at 530. It was maybe like, yeah, it was like right at 5.30, <clears throat> maybe 5.28, but it was like 5.30. And then they came and uh, they had me unloaded, gave me my paperwork 
at um it was like 555 so <laughs> i got out of there in less than an hour they costco still holds true to being a great receiver and uh so now we gotta, we gotta get to the numbers even though it's uh super early and i'm not quite ready for it you know i i'm gonna i'm gonna actually try and lay back down and go to bed until uh some of these brokers wake up and you know it's not even it's not even business hours on the on the west coast it's just getting business hours out there uh, in the in the midwest and so i i i glanced at the load board and there's some loads but they're trying to keep the rates way down so i'm not even going to worry about it this early in the morning um i'm going to i'm going to go to sleep for a little bit and then wake back up cuz uh well because i can and because my hours don't reset until a little bit later anyway i idled in there and idled out so <laughs> you guys know what i'm doing anyway um uh let's see let's see what what was i going to say oh yeah so this load this load is about 445 miles 445 miles uh, picked up right in my in my town basically I mean a little bit on the outskirts of uh, Turlock and um, you know we had that whole fiasco that we talked about earlier it was ridiculous but um, as far as just the mileage from you know the shipper to my yard from my yard down here delivering it was about 445 miles so that puts us at a rate per mile of four dollars and 83 cents per mile for this load and uh, puts 21.50 in the the ledger down you know on the books for week number two of the great freight race uh you know we've got we've got um we've got 2150 in the books on monday morning at 6 a.m so i mean pretty stinking good uh something i i should mention if you're thinking about going out in your own authority right now currently as of now i am waiting to collect on over thirteen thousand dollars of invoices so Hey, sometimes people don't pay as quickly as they say they're going to pay. Um, it's just the way it is. And uh, I do factor loads, um, I, but I'm trying to wean myself off of the factoring company. So all of my Coyote loads, I'm getting uh, paid directly from them on a, on a net 30 pay, uh, pay structure. So they have 30 days to pay. And then if they don't, then I'll send them another you know reminder and blah, 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 blah. But Coyote, that's the reason why I did it through them because they're pretty good. Uh, about paying and they they have a pretty good reputation but uh nevertheless so i have three loads with them uh the first one i did almost 30 days ago now so it should be coming in the mail any day um, i'm gonna set up ach for the other two uh, so they should come a little bit sooner than the paper check um, for the first load but anyway all that to say um got a few loads out that they 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 had me i mean they're they're set up with triumph pay which is like a two percent quick pay type thing and for whatever reason it's like everything all the paperwork's approved but they just haven't issued payment yet uh so anyway so little little warning um for those of you who want to go out on your own authority sometimes you, you got to dig into your reserves uh when you're not planning to nothing's wrong with the truck nothing's wrong with the trailer and I'm, I'm digging into my reserves just to put fuel in the truck and to uh, keep keep my family eating because uh, we got over thirteen thousand um, dollars of revenue just sitting out there of checks waiting and you know bills still got still got to get paid trailer payment truck payment insurance those three hit and you're like whoa what happened to all the money in the account <laughs> what what just happened that's like that's like seven thousand dollars just boom within like a week and a half of, of you know each other it's like the the 15th through the 23rd we just get hit with all three of those bam 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 so uh anyway <clears throat> uh that's actually what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be doing some some admin stuff and making sure that i get set up to uh collect on all of all that's owed to me uh because uh we can't be running a business if we don't have money coming in man gotta have that money coming in but anyway four dollars and 83 cents a mile 445 miles 2150 on the rate um it's all good to me we're down here in San Diego. We gotta try and find a load up. So, see you guys on the next load. Stay tuned to find out where I go from here. Um, it's usually in California most of the time. So, uh, you know, we'll we'll see where we, where we go and see how much we get paid to do it. All right, love you guys. Peace.